All right, um, I am Cade Schneider, and this is my uh, Photoshop independent project. So basically, what I wanted to do was just, I don't know, I've worked with Photoshop, but I really just wanted to get it more in depth with it and work with Topaz filters so, <clears throat> so I could use them. For later use possibly depending on where I'd go um, so yeah I think it went well for how I wanted it to be I don't know this was my plan I had the only one I used for a tutorial really was this one and it just it was for my first picture you show me how to do all this stuff, add the psychedelic filter, make the background black and white, and end up like that. He added that stuff, but I didn't. I probably I maybe could have, but yeah, either way. So that's uh mainly how I did that. Um let's see. So so yeah, basically for this one, I just had to use the gradient filter on the background with soft light. See if it worked, but oh no. Well, it worked, but it mixed up the colors, so maybe if I... I mean, it just draws over it again, but still, you get basically what I did. But yeah, I added the, went up here to Topaz Labs, up on this one, and, okay, well, I don't have it working, because, but this is how you do it, you and then you press psychedelic and make it like that but yep that's what I did for this one um yeah that's that was what that uh, tutorial showed me so what did I learn about planning a big project um usually it's nice to know where you're going or like what you're gonna do with with this at least because I don't know, with the first, I mean, I did the tutorial with the first one, and it turned out pretty well, turned out pretty good, but, um, for the other ones, I kind of just wanted to do stuff on my own, and I don't know, that didn't, I liked, I liked how they turned out, but I feel like if I would have used a tutorial, I could have made them look, I could have used a different concept and make them look better. But yeah, just knowing what you're gonna do and where you're gonna go with it. Um, do I need to adjust my plan? Not really. <clears throat> I mean, I did. I went faster than I thought I was, but the third picture had a pretty. Uh, I don't know. It was there were a few problems with it, so I couldn't really get there, and then. So yeah, this was my first picture, and then with the second one, I added a filter, and I put the text, and I had it dissolve right here, and then I'd like cut him out, and I made the background black and white, see like I, no, I guess he's not, but yeah, and then I added the little outline on him, and had a little gradient to like red to blue. Yeah, I mean, I thought it looked pretty cool, but, yeah, and then this one, so this is, this is what it looks like in Photoshop, because I set this layer to transparent, so you could see the Jayhawk behind it, because I didn't want the Jayhawk to be, like, in front of it blocking the crowd, I wanted, like, to be able to see it in the crowd, um, here, I'll show you what happened, so, this was the first one that I did. I had him cut out in the ball, and then I had the Jayhawk going around the 
crowd like that. And then, then I wanted the score, the basketball goal in color, so I did that. But then I still didn't really like how the Jayhawk was like that, so I moved it up to the corner like that and popped the color on the ball a little bit, as you can see. Yeah, so that's how that turned out. And uh, what I've learned through the learning process. Uh, like I said, it's like with these two. Uh, it's nice to know where you're going and what you're planning to do with the picture before you do it. Because especially with this one, I was kind of like, I don't even know what I want to do. I'm just going to click random stuff until one of them looks good. So, I don't know, I just kind of went in here and just stroke and that. So. It's just nice to know what you're going to do with each picture. And then, I mean, with this one, I knew, I, I knew where I was going, but of course there were some problems with Forgetting some stuff that I ended up wanting and moving the Jayhawk and stuff. So, yeah, um, problem solving. It and cutting out this picture was pretty hard because. Hold on, I'm gonna move this up here just so. So like, cutting it out in there, in between his legs was kind of hard, and then his arm would like blend with the other players arms and stuff so it was kind of hard to get that around there but I just used the magnetic lasso and then the quick selection tool so yeah I mean um, if I could redo my project I'd probably work on producing more pictures I don't know I feel like I could have produced more than I did Okay, get this out of my face. Um, <clears throat> biggest successful moment was probably getting this cut out right and getting it, because it did go pretty well. Like, it was his hand and that's it. So I was really, that was probably my most successful point in my project. So, yep, that's my project.